For commercial jobs, you may need to do a takeoff based on existing blueprints. MeasureSquare supports most popular file formats such as PDF, JPEG, TIFF, and CAD files. For an example, let's try importing a PDF file. First, click on the Takeoff tab, then click on the Import section, then select a plan file type, in this case, PDF. The commercial edition of the program has a batch feature which allows us to select multiple files and import them. To select multiple PDF files, keep pressing the control key on your keyboard while left clicking to select multiple files to import. multiple pages. If a single plan file contains multiple pages, each page is listed with page numbers in the preview window. So one can click on each page to preview it and uncheck the box if there is no need to import it. Selecting Scale at Import. If all pages are selected or of the same scale, select or enter the scale from the Plan Scale pull-down field. Otherwise, you can also set the scale for each page after importing. Plan tabs and shifting of tabs to reorder. Upon importing, the program adds separate tabs for each plan page. Click on the tab to switch to a different plan. The plan tabs can be dragged and relocated to reorder their sequence however you like. Scale Setup and Verify. After the plans are imported, the first step is to verify the scale setup is accurate. This is important if a scale factor was used during importation. This needs to be done for each plan page to ensure a correct setup. Scale Verification Click on the ruler icon, then pick one end of a point of a known size on the plan, and then move to the other point. Check if the measurement reading matches the dimension on the plan. If the measurement does not match, the plan scale will need to be reset. Two methods of scale setup. To set scale after importing, click on the Setup Scale icon. There are two alternatives for scale setup. Pick up two points. The default option is to pick up two points of a labeled size to set the scale. The rule of thumb is to find the longest labeled size on the plan. The longer the size, the more accurate it will be. Another tip for better accuracy is to zoom into the selected size as close as possible on the screen while picking up the two endpoints. Again, always verify scale after either method of scale setup. The other option for setting a plan scale is to zoom in on the document and find the plan scale listed on the blueprint. We can then go up to the scale tool and select set blueprint scale. We can then choose the appropriate scale from the drop down and click OK. Note that the pop up will remind us that we still need to verify our scale. Zoom in slash out and panning a plan. Use the view options to zoom in or out and to pan around the plan. If for any reason the imported plan is shifted out of the current screen, you may click on the zoom to fit command to bring it back into view. Thumbnail view. Click on the blue square on the top right corner to open the thumbnail of the plan. Once the plan drawings are imported and scaled property, we are ready to move on to our next step, the room takeoff.